and so I keep dominating this. But Tommy Kramer looks like he is, is the front runner for you. Um, what's he doing? How, what kind of year are you anticipating from that right tackle spot? Well, t Tommy's made Tommy's made real good progress. Liam's made very good progress, and Robert Haynes has made very good progress. So that, that's still a work in progress right there. You know, Tommy's. Uh, we're right now he's lined up with the first group most most frequently, but the other guys are right there, right on his heels. So um, they've all got experience over there, and we're going to continue to do that. So um, you know, if we had a if a game was tomorrow, he'd be probably the first guy out. But um, I really like what these young guys are doing and providing some great competition there. And we're going to have uh, whoever starts at Temple, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to go, partly because they've had to fight every day to be able to get to that spot, and they got Alex and Sam, who are, are really going to be beneficial to keeping them calm and keeping them in. Harry, yep. I'd assume that a lot of times you, you, your best lines would be when your best player is also one of the best leaders on the team, you know, when we go back to Zach Martin and those instances. How do you feel about that this year? You know, is Mike that guy? Is is Quentin that guy for you this year? Do you think? Yeah, uh, Q and Mike are providing great leadership because uh, it's super important to them. Uh, they work as hard as you can possibly work. They want to do well, but also they, they want to be great teammates. So they're they're naturally helping their teammates first by how they play, second by being another coach, two more coaches on the field for us. You've coached O-line for a long, long time. I, I'd be surprised if you had a group that's maybe as physically gifted as this. Can you remember a group that's as physically as gifted as, as these five coming out? Yeah, I mean, in college, it, no. Um, um, head guys with a similar amount of experience, but, um, you know, uh, but no, this is a, this is a good... It's a good mixture of, of guys that can be physical and, and have the athletic ability to play. So, yeah, that's definitely right up there. Last year you had a lot of success. How do you get them to that next level of dominance? Because uh, I think that this group is capable of that. Well, it's, it's every day. I mean, it's how they do everything that they do every day, what they bring when they come in the building, you know, what their approach is in the weight room, what their approach is on practice. Are they satisfied? Are they going to keep trying to fight to get better? They've been wanting to fight to get better, so that gives them a chance. But the key is that they bring the intensity, they bring their focus, they bring the traits that Coach Kelly's always talking about. And if they bring those here each time they come to the building, then they have an opportunity to be very, very good.